Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very very well today. My name is Coach Mike and I'm here to once again bring you a cryptocurrency technical analysis video in which I'm going to uh, be covering uh, what's happening on the chart on Bitcoin where I'm really going to go over why you should never make the following mistake so that that is what i'm going to enlighten you about on the video and in at the end of the video i have some cool stuff to share with you so make sure you stick till the end of the video and with having that said let's go So let us begin with taking a quick look at the chart on what is uh, what is Bitcoin really doing. Uh, of course, we've seen some heavy fluctuations over the past few weeks. We've seen big rises to the upside. We've seen some big rises to the downside. We then again saw a big rise to the upside or relatively big, depending on how you look at it. Another big drop. And yesterday we once again had another big um, move to the upside and yet another uh, move to the downside. In my opinion, um, you could class this as choppy price action in some degree or another. And this is immediately where I'm going to cut to the chase directly. And this is, um, once again, as I've been repeating in my videos time and time and time and time again, be aware of the context and the place that you're trading in. Um, in my opinion, we are simply having a range that you can look at it like this, constructing a channel based off of a four hour uh, chart that uh, is not a new channel because I've already shared this in a previous video So if you if you're interested on how to do that, then uh, just follow follow along I would say this is the channel and you can see that we have been trading around that midline for a good while now And what we have done also is we have been putting in yet another range around the middle of the range even you can see that in past price action, even that you could, you could even class this as a long standing mini range within the middle of a long, longer, larger time frame range, essentially. And that makes it so that this price action uh, that explains exactly why the price action is behaving like it does. Uh, we have a low, low volume environment and then we have a high volume move out of it, which is what we class as a deviation of the range. Then we simply move back into it, continue where we left off and do the same thing once again, only to simply continue ranging around that middle point of that uh, of that range. Um, the thing is, like trading in the middle of a range is bound to uh, is is a very dangerous place to trade, in my opinion, because that can lead. Price is usually lowering down on volume. Uh, price is behaving less fast, is less volatile. Yet. Uh, most people come into into this market in the middle of a range expecting really big moves to occur from there. Uh, however, I'm going to not give you the answer, but I'm going to propose you a question. How will trading within the middle of the range give you an edge in the market? I'm not going to give you the answer in this video, but I would really like to challenge you to think about this question. If you can actually find an edge, then by all means go ahead. For me personally, I cannot i'm unable to find an edge in this in this range and therefore that leads to price action that can be somewhat unpredictable i'm not saying it is untradeable but it can be somewhat unpredictable and for me personally is simply just less enjoyable to trade the the funny thing is though that if you're coming in there expecting these mass massive moves up or to the downside then you're being caught up in the low uh, in this low volatility environment and getting chopped up. So that can have as a result that the profits that you might have made in the past are now simply being wiped away or the losses that you've made, you're trying to trade that back uh, within this really choppy range that doesn't necessarily give you an edge or potentially a solid plan uh, leading to even larger losses. So always the, the moral of this video really is always be absolutely aware of the context that you're trading in. In this case, we are having a really great example of an environment where I would say it's, you know, you always have different option. I would say it's not necessarily that you cannot trade it, but it's less preferable to be very aggressive on the trades in this region.
So with this, you always, you always have three options in the markets, and I'm going to give you even a fourth one. So option number one is essentially going long. Option number two is going short. And option number three is staying out of the market and staying on the sidelines until you do find a good tradable setup that does give you an edge. And I actually want to give you a fourth one as well. You can also look to trade different assets, for example, because all the theory that we do teach in our group, you can use this in, in any kind of market. If you fully understand the theories that we teach and the tools that we teach, and if you, if you master the usage of those, you can apply them anywhere, anywhere. Do you don't believe me? Well, there we go. I'm going to show you a few examples of one of our members that I want to I want to really give a big shout out to, which is Barsh from our community. He's also in the champions group. And as you can see on this particular screenshot, a brilliantly traded using the tools that we teach, not not applying this to Bitcoin as Bitcoin is, is quietly trading within a, within a sideways range. He applies this on the Luna chart, for example. And as you can see, very technically well respected, making informed decisions based off of it, making some really nice profits off of this. And it's not only on Luna and other altcoins as well. Also trading Atom, USD, once again, showing very well how technical analysis is very well respected over here. And then once again, the third and final example on Send USD. So Barsh, shout out to you, very well done. Very proud to see that, um, that you've been able to master the stool that we teach and actually uh, making good use out of it for your own benefit and that is in the end really what we are all about um, as a matter of fact uh, also tonight which is every wednesday we do give live streams uh, and tonight the topic is going to be about hedging so how can you protect yourself in a market that is not running in your favor? That is what we're going to cover tonight in a live stream. So if you're curious about that, just go to our website, have a look around. We have free beginners modules to see uh, if this is something for you. If you like it, then, you know, um, it's up to you. Make your own decision. Um, but in any case, tonight we have this live stream going on. Um, so with that already we have been arriving at the end of the video we quickly covered what's going to happen uh, or what is happening on the bitcoin chart which is uh, going in a sideways why this is not beneficial to trade for you and just being aware of the context so that you don't have to make the same mistakes over and over and over again educate yourself invest in yourself and make informed decisions with that, I want to end up the, with this video and thank you for watching very much and see you in the next one. Cheers.